Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about your career option and specifically I am going to guide you through what are the options for your career if you come from a life sciences background or if you have done biomedical sciences. One of the biggest issues with students is the lack of connection between what they have done in a degree versus what kind of job they can do. There's general lack of guidance on how you should pick your career, specifically if you come from a very classical science background like mathematics, physics, chemistry, or biology. Because these fundamental science subjects doesn't seem to be related to any you know, marketing or you know, sales or product development type of role available in the industry. And specifically, if you have done biomedical or biological degrees in your university, it seems even harder to see beyond the root of classical research and explore other opportunities outside of just research. But in this video, I'm going to share with you the alternative routes that you can take if you want to jump out of you know, the science background and what are the general job options for you if you come from a biomedical degree. If you don't know who I am, my name is Minka and I am a career coach that helps students to land their job offers and I have helped 100 plus students as well as building 100,000 plus communities on Instagram. So please subscribe because I will be producing a lot of high value and actionable videos for you. Before we jump into what are the options that you can explore, let's have a look at what you have studied. In your degree. In biomedical or biological degrees is a broad understanding of how the world works in a biological sense and in a human sense. And this often involves understanding how our bodies work, how you know the nature works, what are the ecosystem connections, etc. But not only you have obtained the knowledge from university, you have also obtained valuable skills that are actually transferable into multiple industries. So let's break it down. In terms of the knowledge that can help you with your job search, you would have learned about different protein structure or drug discovery. You would also have learned about immunology or how human body works. You also would have learned about different bacteria or different you know, biotechnologies. And these are the areas where it's going to be more industry related and more applicable. And in terms of the skill set, looking back on the type of coursework that you have done, as well as focusing on the tools that you have learned throughout the past three to four years, examples could include you know, statistical analysis like using R or Python to code or doing data analysis using different softwares as well as presentation skills because what you need to do often is to write a lot of reports to make sure you communicate complicated scientific ideas and discoveries into plain and simple language. Oftentimes, as part of your degree, you need to do group work and group project. And this puts you in a position where you will discover if you are the type of person who loves leading a team and organizing lots of things, or if you're a type of person who enjoys executing and focusing on getting tasks done. And these are amazing opportunities for you to actually first understand where you are, what type of personality you are, and actually developing the skills to talk to you know, people who have different backgrounds and with different abilities. So these are the fundamental principles that you can think about before evaluating the career options for you. So now let's have a look at the top five career options if you come from a biomedical or biological degree. The top two are going to be scientific roles where you're going to use majority of the knowledge that you have obtained from your degrees as well as the skills that you have built through research. The first is research assistant or research scientist. These are the type of roles where you're going to be staying in the lab and doing experiments, trying to understand different mechanisms. But overall, the goal is to understand how the world works and find new discoveries. This would allow you to tap back into the scientific power you have obtained through your education as well as your experiences. But at the same time, it allows you to further with your research skills, it allows you to go into the root of becoming a scientist. And this can be either with academic institutions, research institutions, or commercial companies, mostly in biotech or pharmaceutical companies. And the specific skills needed for the role would be dependent on the nature of the project. For example, if you're trying to understand how we respond to certain diseases, then you will need to do some cell culture experiment. In that case, you will need to demonstrate cell culture experience and skills. 
Then the second role, which again is related, would be analytical chemists. And this is going to be more scientific role in a commercial setting. And what you usually do is to discover the structure and the function of certain drugs, trying to understand how it might interact with the human body and also the design of certain drugs so that it's easier to be absorbed, etc. This taps into your you know, scientific skills again, but at the same time, it does allow you to be more practical because you are going to be evaluating and contributing to developing a drug. And this brings you a lot more fulfillment because it's not just discovering knowledge, it's more about discovering how we can build a better drug to help with patients with certain diseases. The next role is sales representative, in which you will be working with an organization or a company promoting their products or services, especially in biomedical and healthcare industry. In order to get into more sales role, if you come from medical background or you know life sciences background, you need to build more commercial knowledge because not only you need to understand like I said, the scientific part of the product, but you also need to nail down on your communication skills and really understand how the marketing sales and the customer success work in an organization. Then the next role is scientific writer. Like the name suggests, you're going to be writing a lot and producing content for different organizations. You could be researching, editing, or writing articles for businesses or even for publication companies. So this role is really good for someone who loves and enjoying writing and the writing long form content, you know, mostly can be scientific content. What it requires you is less of a scientific understanding because it does allow you to have more time to do research and to put all of the thinkings and concept into articles. But it does require you to come from a scientific background because the type of articles that you'll be writing are very in-depth. Again, it really depends on what you might be good at. If you really enjoy writing reports or even writing, you know, long form dissertation, then being a scientific content writer could be a potential option for you. Last, this is going to be a very hybrid version of having the understanding in the business and having a deep scientific background, which is business consultant. Specifically, this will be a business consultant within pharmaceutical and life sciences industry, as well as healthcare. So what you are going to do as a business consultant is to give higher level advice to companies that are in these industries to solve their business problems. For example, one of the business problems could be one pharmaceutical company has developed a drug, a potential drug candidate, which has gone through a clinical trial. But unfortunately, they failed the trial. So what should they do in order to make the most out of this situation? Should they change the drug composition so use it for a different purpose? Or should they sell it to another company in order to get more revenue and profit? So as a business consultant, you need to understand the nature of the drug as well as the market that the company is targeting in so that you can help them to find the best plan for their business outcome. This role is going to require a very high level understanding of the business because you need to have a deep understanding of what type of products, what type of markets are there and the behaviors of certain customers. And also you need to understand the technical part or the scientific part to understand the barriers of developing a new drug, etc. So overall, this role is going to require pretty heavy understanding from the both commercial side and the scientific side. Did any of these roles appeal to you? Comment to let me know which of these roles are you interested. Overall, there are lots of possibilities for your career and then you don't need to be stuck with one route. And one thing that actually has happened, especially if you are in UK, US or Canada, is company in general, they don't really care which degree you come from. As long as you have demonstrated the potential to you know, learn new things very quickly, as well as you know, to be able to apply uh, principles and the concepts into applications. So I have seen students who come from biological degree and they ended up working in investment banking as well as even finance positions. On that, I actually have a free 60 minute training on how to land your full time job. Now, this is going to be very important and useful if you're struggling with your application. In this training, I spill all the teas and secrets on how you should land your dream job and how I and my other students land our dream job offers even within three months. I will link it in the caption below, so make sure you check it out. Either way, I will see you guys in the next video.